Hello students, welcome back to our channel General Learnings. In this video, you are going to learn how to find the perimeter of any shapes. First, we will see what is perimeter. So, perimeter is nothing but sum of the length of all the sides. In order to find the perimeter of any shape, we need to add the length of all the sides. So, the unit of perimeter will be meter, centimeter and millimeter. So, perimeter is nothing but the sum of length of all the sides. Now, we will see how to find the perimeter of a triangle. Here, they have given a triangle with the sides A, B and C. So, we know that perimeter is sum of length of all the sides. So, here length is A, B and C. So, the perimeter of the triangle will be A plus B plus C because perimeter is sum of all the sides. So, perimeter of the triangle will be A plus B plus C. Now, we will see some of the example how to find the perimeter of a triangle. Here, they have given find the perimeter of a triangle whose sides are 5 cm, 3 cm and 2 cm. So, now we need to find the perimeter of a triangle and they have given the sides as A equal to 5 cm and we are going to take B as 3 cm and C as 2 cm. So, we know that the perimeter of the triangle is A plus B plus C. So, we are going to add all the sides. So, A they have given as 5 cm plus B as 3 cm and C plus 2 cm. So, now we are going to add 5 plus 3 plus 2. So, we will get 10 cm. So, the perimeter of the triangle is 10 cm. Now, we will see another one example. Here they have given find the perimeter of a triangle whose side is 10 cm. So, here they have given only one side that is 10 cm. So, that means so all the sides are same. So, all the sides will have 10 cm which means A equal to B equal to C equal to 10. So, all sides will have 10 cm. We know that perimeter of a triangle is A plus B plus C. So, A is 10 cm plus B 10 cm plus C 10 cm. So, now we are going to add 3 of them. We will get 30 cm. So, the perimeter of the triangle is 30 cm. Now, we are going to see about perimeter of square. Here they have given one square whose sides are A, A, A because in square all the sides will be equal. So, all the sides as A. So, now we know that Perimeter is nothing but sum of length of the sides. So, we will get A plus A plus A plus A because perimeter is sum of length of the side. Here, they have given 4A. This A plus A plus A plus A will be written as 4 into A. So, the perimeter of the square is 4A. So, in order to find the perimeter of the square, we need to multiply the sides with 4. Now, we will see some of the examples of how to find the perimeter of square. Here they have given, find the perimeter of the square whose side is 5 cm. So, they have given the side as 5 cm. So, A equal to 5 cm. We will know the perimeter of the square is 4A. So, now we are going to 4 into A means in the question they have given 5 cm. So, 4 into 5 cm. So, 4 5 are 20. So, the perimeter of the square is 20 cm. Now, we will see another one example. Here they have given find the perimeter of the square whose side is 15 cm. So, A is 15 cm. We know the formula of the perimeter of the square as 4A. 
So 4 into A is 15. So 4 into 15. So 4 into 15 we will get 60 centimeter. So the perimeter of the square is 60 centimeter. Now we are going to see the perimeter of rectangle. So here they have given rectangle. We know that rectangle is opposite sides are equal. So they have given LL and BB because opposite sides are equal in rectangle. So we know that how to find the perimeter. So perimeter is nothing but sum of length of all the sides. So when we add all the sides we will get L plus B plus L plus B. So this L plus B plus L plus B can be written as because here they have 2L and 2B. So the perimeter of the rectangle will 2 into L plus B. So in order to find the perimeter of the rectangle, so we need to 2 into L plus B. Now we will see some of the examples of how to find the rectangle. Find the perimeter of rectangle whose length and width are 5 cm and 10 cm. So now we are going to write length as 5 cm. In question they have given width as 10 cm. So we know that the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into L plus B. So 2 into L. L means length which is 5 cm plus B. B is nothing but width which is 10 cm. So 5 cm plus 10 cm. Now we are going to add 5 plus 10. We will get 15. Next we are going to multiply with 2. So 2 into 15 is 13 cm. So the perimeter of a rectangle is 30 cm. Now we will see another one example. Find the perimeter of rectangle whose length and width are 12 cm and 15 cm. So from the question the length is 12 cm and width is 15 cm. So we know the formula of perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into L plus B. So L is length and B is width. So 2 into 12 cm plus 15 cm. So 2 into 12 plus 15 we will get 27 centimeter. So 2 into 27 we will get 54 centimeter. So perimeter of a rectangle is 54 centimeter. Okay students I hope you understand this concept how to find the perimeter of any shapes. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this please go and visit my YouTube channel at General Learnings 91. Thank you.